Yeah, I think one of the keys from a selection process in terms of our talent acceleration program, it's a program that tries to work over a two-year period in between World Cups as well. And uh, the process is we followed some of these young men for for a while. A uh, guy like Matthew Montgomery has been in our TAP program for over three years. And uh, it's so you see these young men, they then hopefully go on to make, they come to regional camps at under-17 level. They then hopefully go on to make their provincial teams to come to national weeks. From national weeks, we obviously then go to our Cubs week, which is our fran six franchise teams. And uh, those six franchise teams then uh, hopefully compete at a very good level and then they get selected for this team. So that's a process, it's, it's quite an in-depth process and uh, hopefully we don't miss uh, too many talented players. No, there's a lot of excitement, a bit of nerves obviously. We're playing the, the world champions, obviously won the World Cup earlier, earlier in last year. So there's a lot of excitement, but also it's a good opportunity for us to prove ourselves as a team. We've had good prep leading into the, into the like, series, so I'm very excited. Yeah, and I'm sure the team will, will do us proud. At the moment, it's like um, a big stepping stone for my career. I feel like uh, this opportunity is going to give me more opportunities in the future. Um, it is quite new, it's a new environment because I'm not really used to um, having such a big uh, coaching staff but I'm getting used to it. So what we've done is uh, the team got picked on the 7th of January and in between uh, as a coaching staff we've travelled around the country, we've spent a bit of time with them while some were at school, some at varsity uh, and we've communicated with different provinces in terms of what we needed them to work on and explain their roles in terms of how we see them. And arriving at camp was just to make sure that as a unit we all understand our roles, we understand our purpose, uh, and to just check up on what we've worked on over the last month if, uh, if it's come through. It's been tough, uh, hasn't been ideal given the weather uh, in terms of a lot of rain around, but uh, I think the young men have got through what they needed to. There's a lot of, a lot of satisfaction now. I'm sure everyone in this team is super happy. It was a long process, started at Coke Week about two, three months ago and it was six weeks of intense cricket straight from Coke Week to Cubs Week and then played in similar conditions so it was nice to the team and I'm sure all the boys are very excited. Yeah. It's quite pleasing to see that the hard work that I did while doing the preparation for Coke Week and Cubs Week came through because I feel like I've been working since January last year just to be in this team and it finally feels good that uh, it finally paid off. No, it's a massive honour and like I'm sure many previous captains have felt, their families and that are very proud of them and I'm super excited, such a massive privilege. Didn't expect it at first but super, super big honour and I'm excited to lead the team. I'm quite excited to go to India to the subcontinent conditions because I feel like they'll be more friendlier to me and to my bowling partner Khaudi. I feel like I'm going to sponge a lot from him and I think we're going to do well as a bowling pair there in India and it's quite exciting to have a guy like him as a senior spinner in the team. Yeah. I think ultimately with, with any developmental structure, the success comes in at the end of the day, it comes in a couple of years later. You know, if we go back two years to this date, Lutus Apamla and Vian Milda were, were sitting where these boys are. So if this program keeps producing cricketers for the pro tiers, for our franchises, for our senior provincial cricketers, it is crucial that we keep producing quality cricketers that hopefully can go on to play for the country.